Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video and in this one I'll be talking about GPU pass-through on Fedora 33. So before we get started, let's take a look at the requirements. You will need a relatively modern CPU, either Intel or AMD, that supports both virtualization extensions. On Intel it would be VTD and VTX and on AMD it would be IOMMU and SVM. Names might differ depending on the motherboard manufacturer. Secondly, you'll need two graphics cards, one for the host, one for the guest, and Intel or AMD integrated graphics should be enough for the host, and then you can use a dedicated GPU, either AMD or Nvidia, for your guest. Laptops are not recommended. I mean, GPU pass-through does work on some laptops, but it's generally more complicated, and I would recommend a guide that's specific for laptops. But you can use this as a starting point. Now, to get started, let's make sure that Fedora is up to date. So, sudo dnf update. Okay, so now it completed. So, let's reboot the system. Okay, so next we'll download the script that will help us with GPU pass-through and I'll leave the link in the video description. We'll go here, code, download zip, save it, open it, extract it, and make it executable. So chmod plus x, gpu passthrough.sh, and we'll run it as a super user. So this will install the required packages. And then it will edit grub. So it will add Intel or AMD IOMMU equals on, which basically makes GPU pass through possible. rd.driver.pre equals VFIO-PCI is Dracut specific. And it basically makes sure that the VFIO driver is loaded before any other, like the NVIDIA or AMD drivers, especially useful for people who have two GPUs of the same from the same manufacturer or exactly the same GPUs. And lastly, kvm.ignoreMSRS uh, helps with some blue screens on Windows, the later, edi later editions of Windows. So if you want to edit it and add something else, you would say, you would hit yes, I'll just say N, and hit enter. It will finish up, update grab, update in DramFS, and this might take a bit to finish. And when it's done, we'll need to reboot. So now that we are back, let's take a quick look. And let's run LSPCI-K. And we can see right here, we have our host GPU, so I'm using an AMD GPU and one that's intended for the guest is right here. And now VFIO-PCI is in use for both the GPU and the audio function. Okay, so now let's open Virtual Machine Manager. And before we create the new virtual machine, let's click on Edit, Preferences, and enable XML editing. Let's close it. Okay. Now we can create a new virtual machine. We'll use that XML editing later. We'll choose ISO image, and I already downloaded it from Microsoft. You can do the same, just Google Windows 10 ISO. Browse, mine is under downloads, forward, Yes, and then however many cores you want to allocate, and I'll give it 16 gigs of memory. 40 gigs of hard drive space is enough for now. Customize before install. So make sure you use UEFI. CPU, I like to set the topology manually change it to, let's say, four cores. I guess I already kind of did it, but I like to change it manually. 
Next, we'll keep everything the way it is for now. So we'll add the GPU later. And this is all good. We'll just finish the Windows install and deal with GPU pass-through once that's done. So pick an installation. Allow to use the keyboard. Press any key. Okay, so the virtual machine is up and running. Now we'll have to get GPU pass-through working. So we'll shut it down. So let's click on this light bulb. And what we'll do, we'll add under PCI host devices, we'll add the graphics card right here. And my NVIDIA GTX 980. And in your case, you'll pick whatever uh, is bound to the VFIO-PCI driver. You cannot pass through the primary card. So that one, or you can change what the primary card is either in BIOS, especially on like gigabyte motherboards, or you can uh, swap the cards manually. So, okay, let's add that. Next, audio function. We'll pass that to the virtual machine and they have to be in their own IOMMU groups and I have a video dealing with that. So I'll link it in the description. If you want to pass through, let's say a GPU with a USB controller, like the 20 series cards, uh, RTX 20 series cards, uh, you will just have to pick all four functions and add them there. So instead of just having two functions like this one, you will see four of them and you'll just add all of them to the virtual machine. Okay, next, USB host devices. So you can either pick a USB mouse and keyboard from here and add it, or you can pick a USB controller and add that. Generally, it's better to pick a USB controller and pass through an entire controller to your virtual machine. And I'll be doing that. Okay, so right here, we have all these uh, devices passed through, so we can start a virtual machine. We are keeping the display spice, QXL and all that for now, uh, while we are installing the driver. Uh, and one more thing, before we do that, we'll have to edit the XML and uh, I'll leave it in the video description. We'll go to Arch Linux Wiki and we'll copy this and you can find it just search for uh, video card driver virtualization detection so that's what i did i just searched uh, for this section and uh, that's how i find it because it's not the easiest thing to find and that will go to the hyper-v section paste and then the second one kvm hidden state equals on here Basically, it has to be within the features tags. So after Hyper-V and still within the features tags. Apply. Let's click here on this screen and let's start the virtual machine. Now we'll go to NVIDIA's website and download the drivers. So, and now it's working. I can see my other display connected to the 980 is displaying the Windows desktop, so I have this capture card connected to the host and uh, one display connected to the guest and that one is now outputting video. So I'll shut down this because we only really want just one graphics card, we want to get rid of that virtualized QXL card. So we'll do that right now. I'll go here and we'll delete display spice sound we don't need that i'll delete that too you can use a usb audio card you can use your gpu sound card you can also use scream audio pass through or anything else i generally don't like using that sound option right here so i always delete it but if you want to it's your call video qxl remove that Channel spice, I'll remove that. And so all these things I'm removing are just basically parts of the virtualized GPU, the QXL. Uh, they fill different function. 
the channel spice and all that, all those spice uh, items basically just uh, are for displaying uh, guest output in your host uh, in this window. So when we don't want that, we want to we want to see it on the monitor. If you want to have your guest output it to your host's desktop in a window, uh, you can try using Looking Glass, and I have a guide for that. So, but we'll be using a separate monitor. If you don't have two monitors, you can just use one monitor and change inputs. Uh, so that also works. You will change between, switch between the host and the guest, but regardless of what you decide to do, you have to have something connected to that guest GPU. That guest GPU cannot, the ports cannot be unpopulated. So something has to be plugged into them. The GPU has to think there is a monitor connected. If there is nothing connected, you will run into issues. You will be, your resolution will be limited and you don't want that. So you can get one of the dummy plugs from like eBay for like $10, even less probably, seven, whatever. And just plug that in. It will emulate a monitor and everything will be fine. So uh, that's one thing. Other than that, uh, we'll just delete the tablet. Uh, that What that does is... Uh, it turns the movement from relative, like a mouse, to absolute. It helps with uh, precision when you uh, when you share mouse between the host and the guest. You cannot do that when you do GPU pass through anyway, because we got rid of uh, spice, so you don't need it. Okay, now we'll uh, start the guest again, and we'll see no output here. Instead of saying guest is not running, it will just not be outputting anything useful. I'll change the input. And here is our virtual machine with our 980 and our QEMU hard drive. So that's that for GPU pass-through on Fedora 33. It's a slightly updated guide from the previous one. Hopefully you found it helpful. And uh, well, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.